Hello. In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to express decisions with your Python code. Such decisions can reflect varying user input or react to the content of different input files. In Python, the basic flow of control can be changed with if-then-else conditions, conditional expressions, as well as using exceptions. Unlike many other programming languages, Python does not offer a switch statement. Let's dive into some simple examples. Here I want to output some texts depending on a user selected input language. I'm skipping the, the input part for simplicity and assign the value en to the variable language using the assignment operator which is a single equal sign. In the if statement I do a comparison. I compare the content of the vari variable language with the value en using the comparison operator for equality, that is two equal signs. So the left side value will comp be compared to the right hand side value and if true, the following statements will be executed. And how does Python know which statements to execute and when to stop? Python uses notation of blocks and everything in the same block belongs to the same outer context. So this block here belongs to the if, this block here belongs to the elif, this block here to this elif, and this part here to else. And this is the outer scope again, so it doesn't belong to any any if or elif block. And uh, blocks are determined by indentation, which is always done with four spaces in Python. At least that's the general way to do it. You can see here one, two, three, four spaces is what's used here in this code. Let's run this example now. Using a debugger so we can see stepwise what happens. Conditional.py <coughs> First language is set to en, so here in the variables section we can see that language is en. Now the first comparison is true. The statements in this block will be executed. And once a single, compare, <coughs> a single condition was true, all the other conditions will be skipped and we continue after the if then else statement. And print output. And the output is what a wonderful day and after that good morning. This is because we here have output assigned to good morning before what a wonderful day is printed, but output is only printed after the whole if then else statement. Let's try another value, say fr language is now set to fr so the first comparison is wrong the second is wrong the third is right so this comparison is true output is set to bonjour and we print bonjour and that's it if we would have say yes for espanol then none of the if or elif conditions here would be true and output would be set to unrecognized language. Let's try that. And just jump through this really quick. Output is set to unrecognized language. There's a shorthand for the if statement. It's called a conditional expression. I'll reset my terminal using control L here. Conditional expression can only have a true or a false result. So here in this case output will be set to good morning if and only if language is set to en. In all other cases it will be set to good morning. So we only can have two cases, no else. Let's try this with lang set to fr. There is no fr. If it's set to English then output will be good morning. Otherwise it will be set to good morning. So I try this Python 3 conditional expression and it's set to good morning. The same is true of course for de because it's not en and if the language is set to en then the output will be set to good morning and there it is. Another way of doing branching in Python is exceptions. An exception allows you to deal with situations that are expected but do not occur in most runs of your program. For example when saving a file it is possible that not enough disk space is available. Since this situation can be anticipated but it's not the general case, an exception is a good way to deal with it. Another application for exceptions is when a piece of code works fine for most inputs 
but would fail on rare exceptional values. Let's have a look here. I want to calculate the width of a rectangle by dividing its area through its length. This works for most inputs. Let's try it with length is 3, Python 3, exception, and we simply have 12 over 3 is 4, so the width is 4. This is what we output here. Now what happens if we divide by 0? This is the exceptional case. Now here a problem will occur, and when a problem occurs, Python will look for accept statements and see if any of these takes care of the problem that has occurred. The problem that occurs is a zero division, and here we have an accept that catches this zero division error, because we have, the, we have it here written explicitly, and then we can either deal with the error or re-raise it or do other things that are more advanced than what we're looking into at the moment. And let's have a look in the debugger, budb, exception. What happens now? First we define length and rectangle, so length is 0 and rectangle is 12. We go into the try, that's the normal course of, course of execution. And we try this division. It fails with an exception, that's what the debugger tells us here. And it continues by looking through the accept statements to see if any of them matches the exception. This is true. So now <coughs> these these statements in the except block will be executed and the course of the program will be continued normally afterwards. In this case I just write out a, a simple error message and width is set to unknown. Let's look into a final example. I clean my terminal again with Control L and the final example is how to calculate tax in Austria. We have pretty high taxes and a progressive system. That means Depending on how much you earn, there are different formulas used. And I have an if clause for, for all the income ranges that have different formulas. If you earn less than 11,000 euros, you don't have to pay any taxes. Between 11,000 and 25,000, this formula is true, and so on. So let's run this example with income set to 63,000. In a debugger, PUDB, progressive tax. We set income to 63,000 and Python has to look at all the comparisons until it finds one condition that is true. This one is not true, this one is not true, this one is not true either, and else is essentially the catch-all, so text will be calculated with this formula. And print it out, and that's it. If we try this, say, with 13,000 euros, again, Now we run this, the first statement is not true, the second one is true, so this block here will be executed, and since one of them was true, Python will not look at any of the other conditions, but jump to the end of the if then else statement right away and print it out. And there it is. I hope this tutorial has made it easier for you to understand how to implement basic decisions in Python. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.